playing. Like, I was like, come on, we making money. Like, I'm ready to go. Welcome to my channel. So basically, I kind of wanted to revamp my entire channel, start over. So any of my, you know, small little bit of subscribers that I had from my previous videos, um, thank you guys for still being subscribed. I kind of wanted to start all the way over. So I deleted all of my old videos and completely decided to just change my avenue about, you know, how I kind of want my YouTube channel to go. So I kind of want to stick more to entrepreneurship, um, lifestyle, still some makeup and hair thrown in there as well because my business kind of still is in the beauty industry so first off I want to say um that my life has really changed in the last year year and a half so I kind of want to take y'all like down a timeline of how things have been for me um as you can tell by the video this is going to be about how I started my business and where my business is today so I'm gonna start y'all from the beginning. So we're gonna go back cool little, how many months? Six, seven, eight months ago. I officially start, launched my business in August, <clears throat> but the idea pretty much came to me in June, early June, late May, early June, somewhere around there. So, oh, excuse me. So basically, um, my business is called The Wit Goddess. I haven't even said that yet. So I'll put my logo on the screen and my website down below as well as our instagram which is at shot with goddess on um well that's our instagram <laughs> as well as our facebook so make sure y'all go follow those or whatever so basically how my business started is around june beginning of june um i had kind of took a break from youtube i was feeling very uninspired i didn't know what i wanted to do like i'm only 21 right now before um, when my business started, I was 20 years old. So at this time, I was 20 years old. Um, I was in school. I was trying to figure out where exactly I wanted my life to go, how I wanted things to go. I knew that I love school. I knew that um, I was in school for nursing. I knew that I loved school, but I didn't know if that was what I was going to really be passionate about. And during this time, the pandemic had hit. So school had just briefly ended in May. And I didn't sign up for summer courses, so of course I was trying to figure out, you know, where am I going to do, like, am I going to go back to work, am I going to, you know, what I'm going to do. And then nobody knows, of course, with the pandemic, it was really crazy at the time, so it was like jobs, everybody wasn't going to work, stuff like that. So I was really just trying to figure out what I what I was going to do. So um, I've always had a really strong love for all things beauty, hair, makeup, lashes, like nails, anything that's got to do with being cute, you know, like, I'm there. So I always had a really strong, I've always been passionate about that. So I came up with this idea to make and customize wigs and sell them. Now, really this idea came to me out the, the freaking sky. Actually it didn't. I have, it didn't come, it kind of came out the sky, but it didn't. So this is really like how it started. So I filmed one YouTube video, which is actually now not on my channel. I completely deleted all of those videos. This would be technically like my first video. So. I deleted all those videos but if i find the thumbnail that i made i'll put it up so i made a wig y'all i saw this girl she was talking about um just different i always be looking at youtube videos she was talking about different amazon vendors she was talking about this one vendor in particular and um she was like they have bundles for 40 dollars and i'm just like girl it's gonna be some trash hair but what did i do i went and bought it because that's what youtube does they make you go buy stuff so i bought three bundles and a closure for 40 dollars i never forget it and um i went i got the hair you know amazon prime two days got the hair sold it into a wig i hand sold it because i've always really been into that stuff which is like courtesy of my sister <clears throat> which by the way me my mom and my sister all work the business together we all co-owners but i'll get into that a little bit later so <laughs> um bought the three bundles in the closure hand sold it hand sold the closure put it on completely melted the lace all of that good stuff took pictures you know for my youtube video for my thumbnail posted pictures on facebook and i got so many messages about that wig like it was like weird 
like people was asking me to make their wigs people were asking me to customize their wigs and i'm just like girl i only do this for me like i don't really do this like that you get what i'm saying so it was really crazy um but i had a pretty decent response for that so that's when it was like okay they really feeling this for some reason so let your girl you know you know what i'm saying let me so i came to my mom because my mama is my bank account and my uh what is the person my fund my funding she's she's that girl okay so came to my mama i'm like ma i got a business venture for you if you tell her you got a business venture she's down she's like okay what you need how much you need what you trying to do let, let me see business plan like she want to know she's ready to make some money so I was like, Ma, I got a business plan, I mean, a business venture for you. So I sat her down, I explained everything to her. And because she's not um, super into the hair and stuff, I won't say she was skeptical, but she was just like, okay, well, let's just try one or two and see how it goes. So I did some research. Mind you, I've been with messing with hair and makeup and stuff like this for years since high school. So I already knew a couple vendors that I personally use that I felt like were good vendors that I've already tested out that I've used multiple times. So I went to one of my vendors um, and I bought hair, sold it into a wig and no, actually I take that back. First wig was a, um, a pre-made wig. So it was already the, the vendor already made the wig and then sent it to me but I customized it, posted it for sale. Y'all tell me why the wigs sell the same day. I was like, yo, like, what did I just do? Like, what just happened here? Like, mind you, um, I've never sold anything like that, you know, like that before. I'm not, I was making YouTube. I was doing makeup at the time. I was a makeup artist and I was in school. So I'm just like, yo, this wigs really sold the same day. Like, that's kind of crazy. Mm -hmm. Then I went ahead and I bought bundles and I started to sold them um to make wigs and then <clears throat> customized them styled them sold them so we continued like that mind you this is in june so i really did my research at this point because when i was talking to my mother and my sister about it i'm like y'all these is really selling like i feel like this is good this can be a really profitable business let's really like take this head on while you know while we really you know while the ball is rolling while people are coming to me asking me about wigs and do you have a wig do you have this do you have that and it kind of grew so fast from there so my sister who also has a youtube um channel i believe her name is portia chapman or portia devon one or the other i'll put it down below in the description box on the screen somewhere so make sure y'all go subscribe to her um my sister who is a business coach um we got on the phone all me my mom and my sister we all talked about it we decided like we really need to take this head on so we kind of sat down went over completely everything that we was going to need to really get this business started so um i knew that i wanted to find a, a quality vendor that i really liked i knew we needed to set prices i knew that we needed a website i knew that we needed a logo we needed a name at this point we had nothing I, it was just me sewing these wigs on this machine, posting them from my social media to sell them. So we really wanted to make this um, as professional as possible, like really not just like some type of side hustle. So we all, like I said, sat down, discussed everything, came up with the name, which my sister came up, which is the wig goddess, which kind of stems off of my Instagram name, which is goddess.jayla, it's been that for a long time. And um, as well as my makeup was the goddess beat so we kind of stemmed off of that and went with the wet goddess <clears throat> so that's how we got the name and then from there i really started looking into graphic designers for our logo i started looking into different um selling platforms for our website we started looking i really started looking into vendors i was getting different um vendors to send free um samples some of them you had to pay for some of them were free depending on the vendor you know getting different samples testing out the samples figuring out which unit i felt like was the best i mean which hair i felt like was the best um going from there and what else were we doing getting p.o boxes getting um boxes made or figuring out how we were going to send out the products whether we were going to do boxes or bags it was just like so much and when i say we took it head on like a week after that first wig so we was like on it like paying for just everything like it was really crazy so um 
yeah so basically we started going through all of that type of stuff um, once we got the logo made we started working on the website which was a completely different story and that really needs to be a story time because honey y'all be careful out here with these instagram um what are they called instagram graphic designers maybe do your research because they will get over for real anyways so we went through everything with the um graphic designer getting all of that stuff made getting our boxes made getting our website made um business cards thank you cards um any type of free gifts we were giving away we made sure we had all of that type of stuff so we set our launch date for august 8th um 2020 so um time is getting closer you know what i'm saying and like i said we started my first initial week that i sold was in june and we set the date for launch for august <laughs> we won't plan like i was like come on we making money like i'm ready to go launch day came y'all and i think we sold one unit launch day <laughs> which was like confusing because we have been doing so well from the beginning and everything was selling so quickly and people were so like ready it seemed and then launch day comes and we only sell one unit like I wasn't I was a little discouraged you know what I'm saying like um it was like confusing like I said but you know it was just day one nobody expects to sell out first day nobody expects that unless you're like really you're already an established business the business was literally launching for the first time so um yeah so launch day we sold one unit which honestly wasn't bad considering the prices of the units um at the time so we went with that and continued to promote, continued to, um, you know, just try to sell units, post the units every day, all that type of stuff. Make sure we're up to date with our Instagram and Facebook pages so that people knew what was in stock. Make sure that the website was up to date, things like that. So we continued through all of that. And as we continued that, of course, units started to sell, which is one thing I can say is as a business owner, if you like i can't sit here and say that i post every day on my business page because i don't i don't i be trying it's hard it's literally hard and it's something that i need to work on because the more you post the more you sell and you could go the thing about instagram which is a great platform is that only 10 percent of your followers see your work or see your post so if you have 600 followers only 60 people are seeing your post so if you post once a week out of your 600 followers only 60 people saw that now if you post seven times a week 60 times seven the odds of them seeing it are greater so which means the odds of someone purchasing from you are greater so if i go this whole week without posting i might sell one or two weeks but if i post every day this week more than likely whatever's on my site will sell because more people are seeing it more people are sharing it more people are liking it and that's how that goes so like i said it's a great platform you just have to really know how to work it and that's my problem is that i'm still learning how to work it <laughs> we're nine months into our business so our one year anniversary is coming up in august and i'm very excited for that i can't wait to see such a drastic difference of where the business was because even from there from where it was to where it is now is such a drastic change that in just a couple months i can already know we're going to be like it's going to be crazy currently i have on our serenity unit which is a um unit kind of inspired by um what is her name v hair off of instagram and off of youtube um she's a hair a wig maker who um specializes in like highlights and stuff and she was literally bomb but this is kind of inspired by her this is our serenity unit which comes with two highlighted pieces in the front and then a highlighted ends which are i mean not highlighted but the bleached ends which are literally gorgeous and then i just added baby hairs and she came out bomb personally so yeah um that is what I'm also working on now. And then the next step will also be launching a new product, which I'm not going to go too into detail. But I will say that I'm using the product right now. And you can't see it, baby. Okay. So, yeah, that's going to be launching as soon as well. 
I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to tell y'all about the wig goddess. Um, make sure you guys follow the wig goddess on Instagram at shop wig goddess as well on Facebook at shop wig goddess. Make sure you check out our website to see if there's any um, wigs on our site. It is currently as of May 3rd, but you never know because girl, they be going. Okay, they be going. So check out our website, which is www.shopwiggoddess.com. So um, that'll be on the screen as well as in the description box below as well as our Instagram pages My personal Instagram is goddess.jayla so make sure you follow me <clears throat> on Instagram as well And my Facebook is Jayla Simmons I don't use Facebook as much but you can still follow me up there or friend me or what, whatever it is up there But yeah y'all I hope this video helps somebody I feel like I didn't really teach anything but I just kind of wanted to share my journey because you know this is kind of like the beginning of my business. We're not even at a year mark yet. So I kind of wanted to go ahead and start documenting my business and where I am so that in a couple months, a couple years, I'm sorry, y'all can be, see where I met and come back and be like, wow. And even I can come back and watch this video and be like, wow, this is where we started. Like, it's crazy. So I just want to say thank you because I'm blessed and God has really taken this business, um, that was just the idea and he really has made it into something that supported me actually i also just um ooh, i can't talk actually i just moved into my first apartment which is like crazy because i can look through my notes and see goals from 2020 20, 20 early 2020 before the business was even thought of and my goal was to move into my first apartment and here we are five um, months into 2021 and here I am like I moved in April so that was like crazy and I just couldn't believe that like I finally did it and that's just nobody but God for real because he really put this business on my heart and my family's heart and we made it work like we're really doing it and I'm really proud of us so with that being said I'm gonna wrap up this video because I feel like I've been talking and rambling I hope this wasn't too boring and let me know what y'all think my next video should be like I said, I wanted to stick to entrepreneurship, lifestyle, and some beauty. Um, so, yeah. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next one.